It's another beautiful day here at Lake Tilly Acres. Uh, and now it's been uh, retrofitted into a chicken run. Uh, I no longer have the chickens out on uh, in the little tractor anymore. I actually use that tractor as a little, a little house form, a little, uh, little safe house, I guess. <clears throat> but as you can see, I uh, I use hardware cloth and chicken wire over the whole top of the run and I just let the hardware cloth kind of drape down there and I uh, now they have a whole run to run instead of being confined in this little bitty uh, this little bitty cage right here I put their perch uh, bars in there and it's, it's weird because they like to sleep right up here they all perch up there at night and there's no cover up there at night um, besides the chicken wire over their head. So uh, like last night, it began to rain a little bit. I was kind of worried if they went underneath where I thought they would perch at, which is right here. And there's some roof and shingles and <clears throat> I put straw along the whole <clears throat> the whole run. And I uh, I put the mesha's earth underneath that, that hay just to, you know, control some of the the, you know, the bugs and stuff that made the mites and stuff that made the lice and just stuff that may get into their feathers that I don't want them necessarily having. So, um, the mesh is earth underneath and we got hay along the whole run, the floor of the run. So they're nice and comfortable, they're nice and happy. I threw some, uh, some grass from out front. I threw some of that out there so they can have some greenery since I covered most of what was left. They still kind of kick and uh, scratch and find different um, grass and weeds. But for the most part, I'll just go out in the front. I'll grab a handful of some that I let get long just for them and uh, throw it in there and they love it. They, they eat it up. Grass fed chicken. Their feed is also non-GMO and soy free. And that's what uh, coconut, no, that's berry. You can tell by the blue, the blue shine on her uh, her feathers. That's why I call her blueberry. We call her berry. And that's coconut because she has all of the brown feathers. My wife named coconut, I named blueberry. And that one is, I believe that's Brie. Yeah, that's Brie. <clears throat> How we can tell them apart is that their uh, their tail feathers. Brie has more solid uh, stripes on her on her tail, and BG, who is right there, has more white stripes. So you can see hers is like a lot of white stripes as compo uh, compared to. Breeze who has, I mean, it may look the same to you guys, but I can, we can tell the difference, you know, it's, it's apparent. But uh, I just wanted to give y'all an update. And also one other thing I know I mentioned in the last video about uh, the fly problem I was having. And uh, I set up a couple traps along the fence, uh, like along those fences. And, uh, and believe it or not, you know, I, I didn't know how that would go. And come to find out that it works a lot better than I thought. So, as you can see, now if you, you may be grossed out, some of y'all may be grossed out. If you're easily grossed out, don't watch this part. But this is uh, this is our fly trap. I had two of them hanging, and they're just the one. Uh, you take and you hang up, and as you can see, it's full of flies. It's, it's up to the to the brim of flies and they <laughs> they uh, had babies or whatever and it's full of maggots now and you can see this thing is full so I had two of those out there and I thought about it I was like should I feed these to my chicken like should I feed these maggots to my chicken which they'll love and it'll be good protein for them and stuff like that and I thought no indeed they just uh, no no way no way so these go straight into the trash 
But as you can see, I had two of them. Here's the other one. It's the same deal. So I'm gonna go back to uh, to Home Depot, wherever I got these from, and I'm gonna grab four of them. And um, look at that, isn't that crazy? I'm gonna grab four of them, and I'm gonna put along uh, the whole fence and <clears throat> see how many I can catch with four. But the fly problem is definitely went away uh, for the most part. I mean, not that many flies out here at all, if at all any, you know, there's a few. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all keep watching, uh, follow us, make sure you like this channel, subscribe, tell a friend, tell them to check us out, y'all into urban farming and whatever we're doing. And uh, till next time. Here's our fly trap. They are going in the garbage. Adios. Just a little update on our romaine lettuce bed. Got some good ones. Uh, going pretty low. I don't know. Good looking green, not getting ate up. Not too many uh, cabbage worms or anything. Look, looking pretty good. So these look kind of weak. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Late comers got some kale here. And our bell peppers, I'm considering considering taking all of these up. They're just not producing, they're producing too small of a pepper. So. Okay, we're gonna do, be doing a lot of uh, microgreens production. Just sticking with that, scaling up with that. I have some microgreens trays here that I have to clean and sterilize. Now they uh, they air drying, and um, I'm gonna go plant those up today and just keep it moving, man. Y'all want to see more from us? Make sure you subscribe and uh, tell your friends. Like our channel as well. Enterprise Produce Lake Tilly Acres. Thank you for watching. Chicken coop trying to catch a chicken. It's been about 30 time, minutes. You know. Been about 20 minutes. You just said 10. It has been almost 10 minutes. Can you catch one? They all they working you, man. Tired. He's tired. Watch your head. Low ceiling in there. Low ceiling. We're not gonna pick you. She picked Paige yesterday. Grab it. Okay, two In your hand. <laughs> I'm not helping you. She's harsh. Grab one. Grab it, grab it. Grab it. Oh, wrong. You're mean, okay? Help me. He's in training, guys. In training. Wait, what's up? So, Romy finally caught a chicken. He's pretty happy. What you gotta say for yourself, champ? Finally. Took me long enough. Which, which chicken is this? I have no idea. You don't know who this is? Gotta look at the tail. That's Bree? Oh, that's Bree. Oh, Bree. Big Bad Bree. Caught my own You chicken. caught Big Bad Bree. Bree, your own chicken. It's the one you named. Nice. Alright, I'm getting out of here.